Hey Year 11, it's the uh, lesson for Wednesday and it's all about trig equations. Uh, this is one of my fave things, solving these trig equations, so uh, let's get going, hey? Alright, we did one of these the other day on one of the videos I showed you just as a, a little tempter. So the question here says, solve sine theta equals minus root 3 on 2 between 0 and 360 degrees. So 0 and 360, you're all stations to central. There's a minus there, be careful with that. So you really need three pieces of information here. You need sine theta, you need the minus, for which quadrants are in, in minus root three on two, all stations are central, and you need your exact value triangle. Now, I don't have to draw the other one because I know where I'm headed with this. So, let's go root three on two and find the acute value, not the negative, just the root three on two, and go shift sign, and that spits out 60. Okay, so 60 is our acute value, but this says minus root 3 on 2, so I'm in that quadrant and that quadrant. So, make your line heavy, go down there 60, and go down there 60. So that means theta is 180 plus 60, so 240, and theta is 360 minus 60, which is 300. So, sine theta equals minus root 3 on 2 has two solutions in the third and fourth quadrants, 240 and 300. That is not a solution, it's just the acute value. Okay, we better book it here so I don't make this video too long. Tan 2x equals root 3 for x between 0 and 360. Now notice that it says 2x here, not x. So it's not x, it's a 2x. So if x is between 0 and 360, 2x has got to be between 0 and 720. 2x shift tan of root 3 like we did over there. Exact value triangle gives me an answer of 60 again. But it's not x equals 60, it's 2x equals 60. So, put my 60s in the correct quadrants. First and third, all in tan. So, that gives me 60. Uh, 180 plus 60 is 240. Go two laps, because we're going to 720, remember. So, 360 and 60 is 420. And then down there, 360, 180, plus 60 is 600. But that's what 2x equals between 0 and 720. So you've got to halve those. 30, 120, 210, 300. Four solutions. Okay. One of my favourite types of questions. This is 6H10D. It says 2x squared, so, sorry, 2 sine squared theta plus sine theta equals 1 for 0 to 360. Take that 1 over there. So it's 2 sine theta squared plus sine theta minus 1 equals 0. Use a substitution. We've done substitutions a lot in our equations. Make W equals sine theta. So that's 2W squared plus W minus 1 equals 0. Factorise that. Don't have to use Mrs. Barry method or anything. Normally the maths inside these is easier when the question is harder. 2W minus 1W plus 1 are your two brackets. So therefore W equals a half and W equals minus 1. But we're not solving for W, you're solving for sine theta. So sine theta equals a half, and sine theta equals minus 1. Now, sine theta equals a half, that's pretty easy. You know, it's going to be 30 and 150. 30 there, and another 30 in there gives you 150. Now, sine theta equals minus 1. Plug it into your calculator, but look, there's sine theta between 0 and 360. Minus 1's down there, so it's in the first, second, third quadrant, fourth quadrant down there, and it's 270. Pretty straightforward. So you've got three solutions for this. That's pretty weird. 30, 150, and 270. All right, let's get stuck into some questions out of 6H. Oh. Fuck. Really? 